the show. Thanks for staying with Morning Live. As most of you are still recovering from the Christmas Day fever, our book feature this morning is aligned with this theme. It's titled Divine Direction and was compiled by Prophet Philip Banda. Now, this is an offering that aims to give the reader a sense of purpose on their chosen life path's journey. To tell us a little bit more about this offering, I'm joined on Zoom by the book's spokesperson, Aretha Moroke. A very good morning and a welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Valen, and thank you so much for having me. Uh, Aretha, tell us about what this book is all about and the significance behind the title Divine Direction. So um, Divine Direction is a spiritual book, and it is written by the man of God, Prophet Philip Banda, um, who is the owner, um, founder, and general overseer of Impact for Christ Ministries. He has written other books, namely Raindrops for the Soul, Christianity is Irresistible, and Rewiring the Mind, to mention but a few. But in a nutshell, Divine Direction is a book of wisdom and and guidance that speaks into the different aspects of life. Who would you say the book is written for? Uh, the book is for everyone, Valen. It is not limited to a particular religious group of people. Um, as we know that we all need advice. To just know a theory is not enough, but we must know how to apply it. And this book offers just that the sound advice and the application thereof. When one goes through the book, what can you expect to take away from actually reading it that may be different from what other people have read in other self-help books? So the reader can expect to be challenged mentally. The reader can expect loads and loads of encouragement as the writer shares his own personal experience relating to money. Um, the power of words and how to cope um, in times of crisis. If I can just read an abstract from page 13, um, which talks about the art of new beginnings, and the writer says that you and I um, should grow from our challenges. All challenges are a benefit to us. You and I ought not to cling to our familiar situations cling not to familiar situations. He continues to say these familiar situations that we cling to no longer work to our benefit, either emotionally or spiritually. Growth is a do or die mission and stagnation is not a, a viable option. It is not worthwhile at all. So master the art of stepping forward. So they can bet a lot of encouragement there. Absolutely. So are all of the, is, is it based on um, verses in, in the Bible then? Are all of the advice, is it biblically based? Um, yes, there are some uh, biblical reference as it is a spiritual book. However, the man of God is led by the Holy Spirit. And so there's a lot of wisdom there as well. Okay. In these difficult times that we find ourselves in, just share with us why this book is so relevant for us in 2020 and at this moment. And so no one and nothing could have prepared us for the times that we are in and what we are going through um, as a globe, you know, the sudden changes, the losses, financial constraints. And so this book offers um, the direction needed, you know, to think and act differently you know, um, in, in order to help one to adjust um, to the situation that we are in and really to just think differently and so to be happier and also just to give hope to those who have found it so hard to adjust. Can you take us through some of the highlights and the important life lessons that are shared in the book? You shared that there are financial lessons there, uh, how to deal with certain situations in your life. Can you, can you expand on that? Yes, absolutely. And I must highlight um, 
from page 81, which talks about rebuilding oneself regardless of the circumstances and against all odds. Um, I'll just read here. One can rebuild regardless of the circumstances and against all odds. Many people choose not to make the huge change that would take them down a healthier path in life. Such change requires great strength. Breaking out of one's habitual um, behaviors takes an effort, clearly not for the faint-hearted. And I'll leave it there for the reader to find out more. You guys say that the book, uh, that this is a book you believe everyone should have in their lifetime. Tell us why you strongly believe this. Um, like I said earlier, Violin, that um, everyone needs advice. Everyone needs um, divine direction. And this book offers all the wisdom and, and, and guidance. And especially like um, we said earlier, that in these ever-changing times, other people struggle to kind of like adjust. You know, they get stuck and miserable and um, others don't even know, you know, where to take it off from, you know, whatever it is that has hit them. And so I believe everyone should possess this book. It really will speak into the different aspects of your life and not just one area. It covers a wide range um, of areas in, in, in one's life. How have, been, how have people been responding to the book? They've been, the response has been phenomenal. It has been so great um, as it was released during lockdown. And so this has been just a perfect um, lockdown read. Can you give us a little bit more details where somebody can find a copy for themselves? Absolutely. The book is available at all exclusive bookstores nationwide at only 150 rands. Um, they can also purchase it online at eStore.itvn.co.za. And for more information, uh, they can contact us on 011. 334-4615 or send us a WhatsApp on 073-957-5664. Um, we're also available on these uh, social uh, media platforms. Uh, the details are down below on the screen the, uh, from YouTube, ITV and uh, videos, um, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. Joining us on Zoom, Aretha Moroke. She's a spokesperson for a book compiled by Prophet Philip Bunder titled Divine Direction. Thanks for chatting to us here on Morning Live. Thank you so much for having me.